everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and this is Creating Crafts with Jenny. And currently I'm uploading from two to three times a week. Uh, this fall I'm hoping to add the fifth. And today um, we're going to put some paint on the canvas. So stay tuned and I'm going to switch it down so you can see what I'm doing down here on the canvas today. Okay. All right. So what I have down here is I have two paintings. I have one where I did on the canvas boards. And what I did as it was drying, I would kind of come in here and kind of help it go flat. So my canvas board is actually flat, and you can see the wrinkles on the back where I kind of kind of maneuvered or manipulated the painting um, as it was drying. <clears throat> I did not get over to the edges. Um, it makes it harder, and it can they can really start to bow. But I think these turned out really cute. And I also have this one that I did the other day, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. But we're going to play around with these things here. These are the Elmer's glue and the glitter. And the, the, what I like about these, it's got a tip on it, and you can kind of draw with it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think I'm going to pick this color for this one. And I think I'm going to do the gold around these guys over here. Originally, I was going to paint around that one, but so I'm going to show you what it is I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of outline my painting here. Make sure all cameras are somewhat focused here. That's the part you guys want to see. Let's see what I'm doing. Yeah, they're looking good. Okay. So, all right. So, I'm just going to start here. Oh, look at that. That looks cool. And I'm going to outline the flowers with this glue. And what it will do is give a little bit of a 3D look to these flowers on the canvas. Now the white, it has been painted. I'm just trying to get it easier for me to reach it. Um, so I'm just going around flowers and then I will let it dry and I think it's going to look really cool. I did one um, so oh, about a year or so ago similar to this and I will show a picture of that one and it still looks good even after all this time. Oh, that looks cool. These paints have a uh, little bit of glitter in them. You guys know I like my glitter. Let's see. I like the fine tip on these also. It just makes it easier to work with. And I'm not pushing down. I probably pushed down a little bit too much over here. Uh, I'm going to go in there and then come back out. That looks so cool. Looks so cool. Let's go right there. Now I could actually fill in all of this with this if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Okay, that looks really cool. Um, I will let this one sit and dry, and I could even go into these areas too. I've actually seen people actually draw things in here, and that looks really cool too. But I don't draw. It paints. I don't draw. I can draw a little bit, but not enough to impress you guys. I'm just going to keep my fingers out of that. Okay, so this one, um, I've got, and you can see the array of colors that these come in. I mean, there's a ton of colors here, so I don't know which one. Originally, I was going to do this gold one here. I might do gold on that one. I'll do the blue. Yeah, let's do the blue. Okay. So, we're going to start it again, and you guys are in focus, and you are. This just looks really cool. This is kind of a purplish blue. Kind of different than some of the colors in the painting. But it's okay. 
I think these are actually still, what you say, in a drying mode, and that's okay too. I will say, um, even though it's acrylic paints and acrylic paints dry quickly, they really do take, I would say, a good month to actually dry. If you stack them too soon or put them next to each other, um, sometimes I've messed up a lot of paints thinking, oh, they're good, and I'll just kind of like stack them up. And I've actually ruined some of my paintings doing it that way. But I think I'm going to do a show where I can show, um, where you can paint over a canvas if you want to. So, yeah, no big deal there. just kind of give it a 3D look. And like I said, if you know how to draw, you can draw faces in here and stuff like that. Or There's always that one stick figure that everybody can draw that's like something you learned in like grade school and you can always draw the guy or the cat or whatever. Okay. So, there you have it. I'm hoping this shows up on camera. Um, I will take some close-up pictures of both of these to see how they are, how they were done, that sort of thing. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Oh, let me show you. Here's the one I did years ago. Oh, and you can see where I did the outlining here. I see that. Hopefully you can. I can take some more better pictures of this one also. Try to get it in focus here so you can see where the outline is. Now this part isn't painted. It's a gorgeous one. I love that one. <coughs> All right. So I'm going to get off here and do some things with the family. And what do we always tell you guys? Go out there. Be absolutely awesome. Do your thing. And I will see you in my next video. Talk to you soon.